Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is the web series where we follow all the latest updates and rumours regarding the Superman reboot. This is episode 29, and today we have set photos of Superman. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, if we were going to see Superman on set, it would have been last night or today. And turns out, it was last night. I have woken up to two new images of our Superman on set, but it's not what I expected. So let's go through both of them. Firstly, we have this one, Superman stopping a train. On the Cleveland set, we have a couple of newspapers scattered around, and on this one it is titled, Superman stops MTA rail from running off the tracks. Now firstly, let's zoom into the image. And we get a bit of a better look at the suit. Obviously not incredible, unfortunately, but we can still see it in action and it looks cool. Obviously we can't judge it too much, as we can't really see the whole suit, but from what we can see, I do like. The actual photo was credited to be taken by Jimmy Olsen, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of Jimmy in this movie, and to see that he took the photo just adds a little bit more depth to this movie. I love it. Now let's take a look at the article written about him, and it was written by none other than Clark Kent himself. So let's read what Clark has said about Superman. Heroism flashes once again across the metropolis sky in blue, red, and gold. Very modest, Clark. At 8.02 on Wednesday, the Metropolis Transit Authority, MTA, received a distress call from the northbound A-Train, with reports of brake issues and uncontrolled acceleration, resulting in multiple missed stops along Morrison Avenue. With over 300 passengers on board, panic spread as the Metro Rail train reached hazardous speed and barreled through downtown New Troy. Potential disaster loomed only a mile away. Pipeline construction near the Metropolis City Hall meant an 80-foot segment of the railway track had been removed, leaving a three-story drop between the Metro Rail trains and the unconnected railway tracks. We were helpless, said train operator Tom Wadsworth. There wasn't enough time for the MTA to intervene. Emergency brakes were malfunctioning. I could see the brake in the tracks just ahead. I prayed for a miracle. Metropolis hero Superman blazed to the front of the runaway train. In an impressive display of superhuman strength and bravery, Superman slowed the train. Wow, Clark, you are so, so modest. Because of Superman, I am still a alive. Passenger Evie Shriner commented on the city's most famous superhero. So Clark was very, very modest throughout that article. And if Lois already knows he is Superman or finds out in this movie, then she is definitely going to think that Clark has been up his own backside a lot with these articles about Superman. But it looks like many passengers on that train were very grateful for Superman saving them. We know the synopsis for the movie is that he is the embodiment of truth, justice, and the American way in a world that views this as old-fashioned, but it looks like people are still grateful that he is saving them. So I'm hoping more of the world is on his side, and it's just the villains that don't like Superman. Now if you think about that article, and remember what we talked about in the last episode of the series, we know that currently there is a lot of rubble along the streets outside the Daily Planet, but also that on Tuesday, they will actually be filming outside of City Hall. And in the newspaper, it mentions that there is pipeline construction very near to Metropolis City Hall. And the fact they are only filming outside the actual City Hall for just one day, may be due to them only needing a few shots for potentially this article. I talk about why they may need actual shots for these newspaper stories a little later on. But now let's move on to the second image of Superman we have from the set of Metropolis. Superman saves 20 after downtown building collapse. And there we can see Superman standing in the iconic pose. Now it's not the best image quality, so I've tried to edit it to allow us to see more, but I don't think I've done a great job. But anyway, I think the suit looks all right. It's still gonna take me a while to adjust and get used to the trunks because they still do look silly to me, but I'm sure with the tone of the movie and the world this is going to be set in, the trunks will feel far more normal. As for the rest of the suits, I really like it. It does seem that the shield is a little lower than I thought and goes down a bit lower too, but overall the suit is growing on me. Change is difficult when you loved the previous version, but the more I see of this film and of David and of the suit, the more I like all of it. Now, 
Now, the article isn't really that beneficial to us, but feel free to read through it for yourself. This was written by Erin Morrill for the Metropolis Eagle, and in the top left, it mentions that Lex Luthor wins the Arcane Genius Award. So, another bit of world building there too. And the fact that his award was just inside this edition rather than the main headline because Superman saved people is just another reason why Lex hates Superman. He stole his thunder by just being a good guy, and you know Lex will be fuming at that. But so those are the two articles from the set that we know of. And today, hopefully we will see them actually filming and might be able to get a quick few shots of the cast on set. If not today, then probably next week as they continue to film outside as well. I imagine that we may be getting quite a few episodes of The Road to Superman within the next week. Hopefully at least. I do love making these episodes for you guys and hopefully you love watching them. And if you do, please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update. As we get closer to the movie, more videos should be coming out and I don't want you to miss them. Now if we look at the dates on both articles, we have one in May and the other in September. So quite a time jump between the two. And I have seen some theories on social media that what if we have some form of montage in the movie of Superman saving people up until now. The camera could pan towards one of the newspapers and as we zoom in closer, the photo turns into a video and then becomes full screen and smoothly transitions us from newspaper to Superman saving the day montage. And that could be why they are needing to film outside City Hall on Tuesday to get some shots of the construction going on near City Hall and maybe this is where Superman stops the train. And as for the two images we have of Superman, I really like them. I think they show off two aspects of Superman that we love. The iconic pose and Superman stopping some form of vehicle from crashing. Both are iconic shots of the character. The suit as well is growing on me. It's not an ideal design and I would make some changes to it, but it's not terrible by any means but I'm looking forward to seeing what else we get in the coming days. And the final update for today is that Gunn has confirmed that he won't be attending San Diego Comic-Con in late July this year, as he will still be filming, meaning Superman will still be in production on July 28th, so they will really be pushing right up until the end of July with filming Superman. I wouldn't be surprised if they go a little over what was originally planned, and as long as they get everything they need, then that's all that matters. There is still plenty of time between now and the movie's release, and hopefully that means we have many more episodes of The Road to Superman. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!